Hey chickadees, it's uh, Wednesday and I am at home today. I'm going to hand stitch all of the buttonholes into the um, bodice. I've just marked them here because I forgot to bring the actual thread home with me. Then I'm going to sew on the buttons and I've just lost one. And then finish the sleeves because they're still raw and not attached to the lining at the ends and then that is the bodice finished which I'm quite excited about then I can try it on um, and yeah see how it actually fits with all the closures in her stuff which will be exciting and then see if I need to um, put in any padding or anything like that Hey chickadees, it's Monday and this is the 1870s bodice which I have finally finished sewing all the buttonholes for and sewing the buttons on. It takes a good two minutes to get this thing on. I'm not 100% happy with it but I'm happier today when I put it on than when I finished the buttonholes a few days ago. I'm umming and ahhing about whether to put a bit more into the shoulder seam and I would do that just literally by putting a piece of fabric in and covering it with some lace because um, it's pulling on my shoulder here if you can see I don't know if you can see in the camera but there's a line a strain line there like I can't I, the back's a bit smaller I can't turn my arms that way but I'm not sure how I would fix that really because that would obviously affect the sleeves and like the length of the sleeves and things like that but then I could always put a cuff on it and then put some more lace on it so I think I'm just gonna kind of have a think about it I'm gonna put this product to the side for the moment um, like it's nearly there it is nearly finished but there are some things that I just have to work out but I mean it looks cute it's just the fit and obviously because I want to kind of wear it more than just for a photo shoot I want it to be comfortable and something that I'm happy with um, and I am I'm thinking I may just take some of this fabric out here because it's quite I don't know I don't know I'm gonna have to have a think about it but it's a tiny bit tight at the back on the shoulders so whether I take a bit out here and then kind of manoeuvre the sleeves backwards a bit maybe that will help but yes as I said I will put this to the side I'm really sorry the, la the rain is really loud today um, and then with the skirt I know I said I was originally going to gather it and then I changed my mind and wanted to do pleats and then I basically did free, fo free form pleats. I can't speak today. Um, but they came out all different sizes. And when I tried to put the waistband on, one side fit in and one side didn't. So I, you know, got a bit of paper and did the maths for it. So this side is the one that is measured out. And they look all nice and organised and then this side is the one that's kind of freeform and not quite perfect so I'm gonna have to undo this side and then redo it again I might do that before I put this project away for a bit just so that is um, you know done and I don't forget about it and that forget I've done it I've cut about four inches off from the top because it would have ended up too long and I didn't want to have to rehem it so what I'm actually working on today, once I've done that and I've given my desk a bit of a tidy and cut out some fabric for eBay, I am going to be cutting out the skirt panels for the tartan dress and then I'm going to cut out the interlining and probably interfacing for that as well and I was planning on cutting out the skirt with the pinstripe but because that pinstripe is um, salvage to salvage 
I don't know whether um, cutting out the jacket will... I don't know how much fabric that will take up. Um, so it might not be the best idea to do that actually. So I'll cut out the tartan and then find something else to do. Probably this, doing this, um, hand stitching it down and then doing that time will probably take me up to six o'clock-ish. And yeah, then I can go home. Sorry if the light is a bit dodgy. It is getting darker earlier now, so I have to put the light on, which isn't very good. But I have got everything cut out. Um, I timed it quite well, actually. It's five past six now. So this is the tartan and the interlining. So the way I do my interlining is just using this cotton and then ironing iron on interfacing to it just to make it a bit more sturdy and then I did in the end cut out the skirt pieces for the I don't know if you're gonna oh there we go the pinstripe um skirt because yeah I just thought I would I am probably going to line this one as well but I haven't got out of the lining as yet so now I'm going to go home and it's raining but not as heavy as earlier which is good because I really don't want to end up like a drowned rat when I get home so I will see you guys tomorrow hey chickadees it's Tuesday I have got a bit of a late start today um I didn't want to get out this morning and then I had a few errands to run in town and everything just took me longer than expected but I'm here I've had something to eat and then I'm gonna get on with my day so I've been trying to figure out kind of how to be more productive and I've been using a diary for a while I plan out kind of all my projects in a just like calendar um, format and say so, this is what I'm going to do in these two weeks and I can like plan out my whole year if I need to I think on this one I planned probably up until October and then left some room and things do change but I was finding that I you know I'd spend ages planning all this out and then I just kind of forget what I was going to be doing because this diary would be left on my bedside table which isn't useful so I've decided I'm going to keep bringing it around with me and I'm basically going to I write what I'm going to do in this notes box here as you can see I was going to be working on my foundations real project but I have um cancelled my subscription to foundations Real. like the paid membership stuff just is not viable economically for me at the moment um so I've given that up so I'm not doing the competition this year so I am carrying on with my family inspired outfits today I have put make mock-ups of the jackets and assemble skirts which is good because when I was thinking of what I had to do today I was thinking oh I've just got to make the skirts up but here I can see I've put made make mock-ups of the jackets I, but I don't <coughs> know if I'm going to have time to do that I'm gonna start with the skirts and then see how we go with the jackets, I am thinking of using kind of the 1870s bodice as a base just to get those like two dark placements at the front, then go from there. So, and that should make my life a tiny bit easier rather than trying to do everything from scratch. So to start with, I need to um, iron all this interfacing onto this cotton here. And then I need to... Um, base the layers together because this is quite mo mobile this fabric it's really nice and really soft um, but it is very very drapey and mobile um, so I just want to have a bit of strength to it I'm still considering whether to line this one it's a very sturdy fabric so I don't think it like needs it um but it's quite thin so I don't know, I'll probably, I'll figure it out once <coughs> I've um, sorted the interfacing and all this lot out. I have 
ironed all the interfacing on and pinned everything into layers. I've tried to baste it on my sewing machine, but because the tartan is so movable, I keep just getting kind of like puckers along the edge. So I'm gonna have to hand tack it down, which I didn't want to do, but in the long run, it'll just look nicer because it just keeps ending up doing this. Um, yeah. So I'm either going to have to use a million pins or do it by hand, but I can take it home and do it by hand tonight. I've also decided that I am going to cut out a lining layer for the black skirt. I'm not going to interface it though. Um, it's just because this fabric is quite thin. It's sturdy, but it's quite thin. Um, so I'm just gonna cut out a lining so I have an extra layer. And then what I have done, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but I have basically traced out the, not the pattern pieces for this, the pattern pieces for this one um, onto some paper. And then I've gone in with my shirt waist to do the arm side on the front and the shoulder and the neck. And as you can see, this line here is the arm side for the 1870s bodice and this is the arm side for the shirt way. I, I did the mock up in a very kind of um, thin movable fabric so it looked alright on the mock up but once I did it in something sturdier and less mobile it just it doesn't work as well because um, all of the sleeve fullness is taken up trying to close this gap here basically so there's no fullness left for the back so I can't move the back of my um, shoulder but that's fixable bodgeable and I'm kind of of the opinion that I'm doing this based on kind of a nurse's uniform from the 1870s and I mean most nurses probably wouldn't have had a, an actual uniform at that point. Um, I'm basing it off a photo from Great Ormond Street Hospital and they were the one of the first I think. So you know nurses didn't earn a lot so it wouldn't most likely be hand-me-downs or like their you know most comfortable dress and there's a lot of piecing that goes into Victorian fashion so it's not going to be out of place and I think you know I'm gonna wear it I find that if problems happen whilst I am making it then I kind of don't love it as much and it becomes this thing that's not perfect and then I won't wear it but if I kind of uh, deal with these problems in the mindset of that's what they do in the Victorian times, then I'm more like, I, th I hope I'm more likely to wear it because I'm like, well, that's what they did in the Victorian times. If it was good enough for them, it's good enough for us. You know, we live in a world where everything has to be perfect and crisp and clean and everything like that. And, you know, mending your own clothes isn't an art form anymore um, and isn't something you do to make the life of the garment last longer um, if it breaks you throw it in the bin and get a new one which is not what um, you know this world should be about anywho after that ramble I'm gonna have to obviously change these pieces now because I've changed or sorted this piece um, I'm gonna have to edit these pieces a tiny bit but that's pretty easy and then yeah then cut it out and make a mock-up this is all the mock-up pieces cut out um i haven't done the collar or anything like that but it's the front and the back they're all cut out ready to be sewn tomorrow i've marked all the darts and yeah so i'm gonna go home now um gonna take these home and just you know stitch them all in place ready to be sewn up tomorrow hey chickadees it's thursday and you join me as i am pinning together the 
sections of the tartan skirt ow i hand basted all of the sections last night it took me like six hours and i didn't want to look at tartan ever again afterwards but unfortunately you know i have to carry on sorry if the background's a bit loud um yeah so done this and then i've also it's in pieces now but i did do um a mock-up for the jacket and i've made a few alterations so i need to make a second mock-up to check them and see whether i need to do anything else to them but yeah this is what i'm doing at the moment um just pinning and sewing all of this together it does look very striking i will give it that and very festive not that i should be festive because it's not even been halloween yet but yes festive all these sections are sewn together now i have cut out a strip of fabric for the waistband i'm just going to do a layer of interfacing for it so going to iron that together and then i need to iron these open then put the waistband on actually i might cut it to the length i want first and then put the waistband on and then that is pretty much it and then all i need to do is obviously finish the seams here i not 100 sure what i'm going to do whether i'm going to unpick this basting here and then um turn it over and stitch it down or just do a whip stitch down it i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'll figure it out and then yeah then hemming and buttons and that's it for that skirt and then i've got the other skirt to do probably tomorrow so yeah this is the skirt pretty much finished um need to hand stitch the waistband on do the button and then sort out the hem I haven't got petticoat under it so it was looking a very thin but I'm sure with the petticoat it will look fine um hang on let me just turn around as you can see there's a lot of weight at the back so it's dragging it down but it does look really nice um I'm probably gonna have to iron the pleats a bit just to make them a bit um neater because they're all a bit splayed at the moment but I'm, I'm really happy with how this has turned out i'm gonna let it hang and settle and stuff um overnight and then sort the hem out hey chickadees it's friday so what i am going to do today is i need to finish off the hem of this so i'm probably going to put it on that mannequin so i can just pin all the way around the waistband just to keep it stable and then this is some leftover binding that i used on my first pair of stays so i'm just going to use that to finish the hem and then that is ready to go home and be hand finished so i need to do the buttonholes and then uh whip stitch down the seam allowances so that shouldn't take me too long and then i am going to carry on with the black skirt and i need to cut out all the lining sections for that and then put it together exactly like i did with the tartan skirt 